Good morning. It is the much anticipated week of our summer. This is the week that we have our county fair. Since we have two kids in 4-H, um, we do have some projects going to the fair. Uh, Amber is taking her horse Rhythm, and that means that we have to get the horse in today, and then it doesn't, which is Monday, and it doesn't come home till Thursday. Then she'll take the horse back there. Joe, you want to say something too? And then she will be taking the horse back for front or back for Saturday. Everybody's here. Joe's here. Peter's here. It's just just shy of eight o'clock in the morning. We have just kind of been um, up early. I've been to Pearl. Pearl. Pearl Fair. Pearl's not going to the fair, buddy. Just rhythm. The train. Yes, we are going to see the trains. So our fair has a huge display yes. of trains. Yeah, and yes. so we are going to be seeing yes. the trains. Joe already put his shirt on this morning because he heard that the fair was happening. He's got his train shirt on. Woohoo! Everybody is super excited about that. And also, the trains are Joe's favorite part. And she also has an art project that she's taking, but just one project. That's kind of um, light for us. Usually we have like 20 or 30 projects, but this year we decided to go very light. Sam made some chocolate chip cookie bars that he's entering into the fair, and I'll give you a quick peek at those. But he already has those packaged up. And I did something for the very first time this year. I have entered some things into the fair too. There was a cranberry bread category that I decided to enter, and I wish I could make a cranberry appear right there. I had to take a hunk of the bread in and both ends was a little bit light in that spot. But anyways, I'm entering that into the fair. That's the very first time. And then I also have some bars if I can find them. This was a new category this year where you had to make something with sweet and dried cranberries. And so I made these, it's kind of hard to see them here, but these are called caramel cranberry oat squares so they have like melted craft caramels in the center and then they have the dried cranberries and lots of kind of like a oatmeal flour butter um, topping and crust and then i'm also taking my rhubarb jelly and blackberry jam so i'm really excited about that i've never entered anything in the fair not as a kid not as an adult so here i am finally decided to do that and what else do we have going so my plan here is that we do fair stuff all week and what i'd like to do is just kind of take you guys along <laughs> I guess I'm talking loud. Amber came in and thought I was just yelling at someone. Like, oh. Nope, just yelling at you guys. So what I'd like to do here this week is just give you a few uh, tidbits throughout the week. So I'm going to vlog, and I really hope this doesn't get too long, but my plan is to vlog a little bit every single day. So a little bit of Amber with Rhythm, a little bit of Sam. Okay. He's shirtless, so we'll keep him off the camera right now, but a little bit of Sam working the food stand and a little bit of Peter and Maria in the corn corn box that they have there. Life will still go on here at home um, with work and things like that, so Warren and Emily have already gone out to work. Sam is actually cutting a shirt. I'll make these uh, cutoffs to stay cool at work. Where's the tag board? I don't have tag board. Yeah, we bought some. It must still be in the van. It always seems like there's a lot of last minute stuff to do with the fair and I think that's why we always get, a, it gets a little hectic and we all get just a tad bit stressed at this time. But once we get rhythm up there and settled in and once we drop off these projects, things will kind of slow back down. Well, they won't really slow back down, but they'll even out, I guess. And Oh, excuse you, Joe. Uh, no, it's me. Yeah, excuse you. That was an awful burp. When you saw the door, you can't say that. Today, Joe's listening to his absolute favorite song. <laughs> Amber's going to try to take some healthier foods along to the fair because she's going to be staying up there in a camper. And so we picked up a few vegetables from the store, and then Peter's down at the garden right now picking green peppers 
and cucumbers, and I forgot to tell him green beans, but she wanted that too. I've got these baggies here, and I'm just going to make up some mixed veggie baggies, so just kind of a grab-and-go thing. Good way to eat some healthy food up at the fair to offset all that um, deep-fried stuff that's going to that we're going to be uh, ingesting. And then she also, these are not her parfaits, actually hers are in this cooler. So she made those for her and her friend and her friend's mom where she's going to be staying in the camper. So since the stuff was out, I figured we might as well use up all the yogurt and I made four more. And I'm not sure if someone's going to eat these for lunch when they come in in 25 minutes or... Anyways, all it is is vanilla Greek yogurt and some of that... It's bare naked vanilla almond granola, and then we just put um, blueberries and strawberries in there. And we just layered them up, put saran wrap over the top, and um, called it good. Let her go? Yep. Okay. Good girl. I called you Pearl, sorry. Drop off our entries. What? We're gonna go drop off our entries. Okay, then. Got yes, Joe. Soon we'll look at the trains, but you have to be patient. Then, okay. See and if then, the chickies are here. You're right. Then we'll look for chickies too. Wow. Oh, that sounds really good too. So 14. The biggest. Sunflower in the world. Oh my goodness, look at those big sunflowers. This one is already is mature. Fake? Nope, mm. they're not. Let's not touch. They're beautiful though, aren't they? Mm, watermelon. That is a nice watermelon. I'll read it to you. Those are called, that's a sunny delight squash, and that one is a white patty pan. Don't touch, don't touch. Oh, mom, look at that pepper. There's some beautiful, beautiful cranberry desserts in there. Mm -hmm. um, but tomorrow morning's the mm -hmm. judging, so I guess I'll get to let you guys know how that all turns out. It's raining, guys. But we got some terrible news. Someone just told us that there's another big event going on, and so the trains oh, may not you be here this pepper. year. So we're going to go take a look and see if they have the trains, if they're getting them set up here. But... Um, our fair is a week earlier than it has been for like the past hundred years or something. I love trains. You do love trains, I know. <laughs> Let's go see what the situation is, okay? Okay. Hey Joe, what is normally right here? What normally fills that whole spot? The trains. I know, the trains, those trains right there. Hub City trains. I'm so sorry, bud, but they're not here this year. I'm so sorry. There's no trains this year, hon. Look at me, honey. No, they have a blue Come on, Joe. We gotta get going. It's raining out. Let's go in quick. 
Okay, up front's usually where they have the chickies. Chicken! Chicken! Are they there yet? There's wood in there. That's where the chickies usually are. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning. It's kind of what I call our long day at the fair. Uh, yesterday was basically what I call check-in day. And today, excuse me while I get some coffee here. Today was is our um, kind of the judging day. Amber is going to be showing her horse pretty much all day long in multiple yeah. different classes. The things that I took to the fair are going to be judged today starting at 9 o'clock. Sam's bars are going to be getting judged at 10 o'clock. So, say good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> You're good? I thought you were going to ask everybody watching how they are. I'm going to skunk. What? I'm a, a skunk. I'm going to run over a skunk. Uh, yes, we did run over a skunk the other day. I'm going to be packing up lunches here pretty soon. Um, getting some breakfast stuff going just for time-wise so you guys kind of get a visual of the day here. It's 7, 10 a.m. And uh, everybody is basically up. Warren's already out. He's got the sprinklers going. And I think they're getting close to being uh, shut down already. So how are you this morning, Amber? Good. How come you look like you're the only one ready to go here? Because I'm on top of my day? Yeah, I guess so. I'm putting the black on the. Ooh, like you need to just stop moving. Well, don't touch her then. Amber wants her to stop moving right now, okay? Yeah, because her hooves need to dry. Do you have safety pins? I do. Okay, perfect. So I need to get my back to my gown. Okay. Emily wants to go find the baby to get out my patterns. Uh, we may be running just a few minutes behind today. I was not able to make a lot of copies of the pattern, so we are taping them to the table down by the arena. Please bring the phone down, take a photograph of it. Yeah. Look at how pretty she is, all trimmed up. Look at her face, Mom, all smooth. You're allergic to horses. I know I'm allergic to horses, but she's still pretty. I, I like the way she braided. Rhythm's mane and it has like black and white. Isn't yep. that pretty? That's the color of her. How her mane is black and white like that. Yeah, then all the rest is black. Yep, up here it's all black. It is very pretty. We're gonna back up halfway. Uh -huh. Then I'm gonna do a pivot, 270 degrees, and then I'm gonna walk to judge. Right, walk, stop, set up for inspection and do a 90 degree turn to my right and walk out. A lot. Oh, really? No. So in this class that you're going into, is this about the horse or is this it's about, about you? It's about the horse. So it's halter. So they're judging the horse. They're judging like your horse. How well it looks and was proportioned. And, um. Well, if it was up to me, she'd get first place. <laughs> but I am clearly not a horse judge. <laughs> well, how are your nerves? Good. Pretty good. Yeah. So I've been running back and forth across the fairgrounds here because Amber's horse showing is happening at the very same time as the baked goods judging for myself. So I think I'm going to miss out on the cranberry bread getting judged, but um, I got to be over here for Amber first and foremost. And I'm hoping that I get back over here in time. Just running, don't mind the bounciness. Oh, she's in the ring, setting up right now. All right, so there she is. So 
I got first on showmanship, which that judges on like me and everything and how I present myself and how I show the animal. And then I got red second on um, halter, where they're specifically just judging the horse. Like it doesn't have anything to do with you or how you handle it. It's just how the horse is proportioned and how it like, but like portrays like the characteristics of its breed. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Nice job. Thanks. Joe was missing out on the trains, but he did find something else that he likes. All these farm sets, these are so neat. All the farm sets with the cows and the tractors. He likes tractors too. Yes, he does. We're just waiting, waiting, waiting for lot five. Yep. <laughs> That's what we do at I've the done fair. A lot of waiting. <laughs> a lot wait, more than they have. Wait and wait and wait. Big, big skunk. <laughs> a skunk. Peter's waiting, waiting, waiting. Ow. And we yet have another class here. I think this might be called Pleasure. And basically, the horse and rider have to follow the commands that are given. Stop your horses, please, and back. Stop and back. And so far, Amber has been doing perfectly. And our placings for class number two, Western Pleasure grades 10 through 11, receiving a first blue, we have Amber Brockman. Woohoo! Right now, we have Sam waiting for his chocolate chip bars to get judged and Amber in the show ring. So I'm toggling back and forth between the arena and uh, in one of the exhibit halls. But they're pretty close together, so this is actually working out quite well this year. But I'm gonna run back in and see what's going on. Walking backwards so I can watch Amber too. We'll go by the chickens, yes. Let's watch Amber though, okay? She's doing Western Trail right now. Go in, stop. Excellent. Yep. It's okay, honey. Peter just got stung by a bee here. So we were lucky that we had a little ice pack for our lunch, didn't, aren't we? Uh, sorry, hon. That hurts, doesn't it? Dad. 
Joseph be nice. <laughs> Yeah, very cute. It's been a long day. It's getting close to about 4.30 or so. Amber's done, Sam's done, Mom's done. We're just waiting around to watch some pirates do some diving. That's what you want to show me? Very fun. Come on. Mom, can we go into the bog barn? He's coming. Come on, Joe. <laughs> He's here. Through oh my gosh, look at these shorts. kids. Where did you get all of that mess from? Come on, Joe, we gotta go watch the high diver. Okay. Come on, Jared. Yeah, get your shoes on. Okay, fine. Fine. Hit back. This started to look a little bit like uh, a mutiny. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen, there is a media on board. These pirates, it's super pirates. There she is. No, that's not super pirate. Wait a minute, what you got next? It is straight from SeaWorld. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The world famous, it's Flipper. No, that's not Flipper. Wait a minute. How does that one feel? Smooth or bristly? Feel it. Does he feel smooth? Oh, bristly. Oh my gosh, that is pokey. You're being awfully gentle, Joseph. What? You're being gentle. It's what time? It's 6.02. We've been up at the fair since like 8.30 or something like that this morning. Peter actually just said, I want the fair to be done, which that's pretty crazy because we actually have five more days of this fun. Sam did his chocolate chip cookie bars. He's back there. He took, he got a red ribbon on that. And all four things that I entered, I got blue ribbons on, which I was pretty excited about that. We are heading home now. And then tomorrow morning, we'll have some more fun to share with you guys. Good morning everyone. It is Wednesday morning, day three at the fair, and as yeah. you can tell, the sun is just popping up over the horizon here, and um, we are going to work a... Food stand shift. <laughs> we are working everybody. the breakfast food stand shift, which is 6 to 11, so we are heading in to fry up some eggs. What are you going to do, Sam? Wait, staff. Yep, Sam's going to be waiting tables, or actually waiting on the counter, so that's what we're going to be doing. Yep. <laughs> that's not much. That's an early morning. Oh yeah, we've got iced tea here. Can you do a little wrap for us? You're not going to wrap? Come on. We're at the food stand in the AM. <laughs> Too early for that, huh? I'm still half asleep. Well, you better not be. You've got customers waiting for you. Kinda bothered by dad's new shorts. I'll show you guys. I got worn some new clothes. You probably want your rear here. Can we see? I don't know if we got the right angle, but anyways, everyone's a little bit bothered by the shorts. So that's all right. We are going to watch drill team today. Come on, Joe, make it up to the top.
wearing helmets. Yeah, that was so awesome. I love the drill team. Yeah. I so yeah, make sure it's nice and tight. Yeah, Yeah, because otherwise, like, once I put them on, wait, she doesn't even like them. Oh, she doesn't even like them. Seriously? She literally doesn't even like the treats. Is she picky? Oh, there you go. She's a diva, that's what she is. She's a Taste it. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's too funny. There you go. Yeah, so shaking her head yet. The light is on, so here they are. They hatched. They are so cute. Look at them. Yesterday. Look at, they're only a day old. They're so cute. Don't drop them and don't squeeze them. Oh, Maria, Maria, be very careful. A chick. You have a chick? Yeah. Yeah. Pick out a horse. All right, Maria, which one do you want to go on? Oh, Dad gets to go. Ride, Joe, you gotta pick out a ride. You guys are going so fast. Oh gosh, let's hope not. They all get sick. They're way over there. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday now. Um, we've been at the fair now Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. And today, Amber's horse. You've got your phone. Today, Amber's horse goes home, so that's exciting. And I guess they're going to be performing drill team two last times before it's time to go home with the horse. And so... Everybody's getting a little me, bit me. punchy with me. one another because we've been here a me. lot. Everyone gets a little bit punchy when we've been together for a lot of hours. Oh, yeah, I see her. Good morning, Amber. Good morning. How are things going today? Pretty good. I had, I wanted some caffeine for breakfast, but... I you wanted what? Caffeine. Oh. So I had a Mountain Dew and now I feel sick. Oh. Why didn't you just get coffee over at the food stand? Because they don't have creamer. It's oh. just milk. <laughs> so. Alright, so now you get to go bounce around with a mm -hmm. can of Mountain Dew in your stomach? Yeah. Alrighty. Good luck. Hey. Peter and Maria are waiting to go see the chicks. Yes, they are. They're patiently waiting. We saw them yesterday, you guys saw. They were one day old, now today. I guess my math tells me they're two days old. How about you, Joe? You just dancing here to survive her? Nice. Air guitar? Yeah. I like it. Joseph. I know. Guitar. Joseph on the guitar. Yeah, that's nice. Here is how the day is going. When I said we were all getting a little punchy with, with each other, we couldn't even agree which way to walk around the um, horse arena. So Peter and Maria and I came this way. Joe and Sam are gonna meet us at the end here. I don't know where they are. We're at the end already. Where are they? Are they coming? Oh, good. All right, so we met up and hopefully we can agree on going to check out the chickies now. Are you coming? Yeah. 
There's a lot of noise in this barn. Oh, look at a little bigger. Oh, that one's super cute, Peter. There they are. We have hours of time to kill, so we're over here in the kids' craft tent just coloring up some owls, right, guys? Yeah. Even yeah. Sam. I'm coloring too, Peter. You're almost done, Peter. Wow. Uh oh. Joe's going to use markers, of course. You don't do that anymore, though? Oh, I don't think that's big. Uh, and so the military. It's time for a little refueling. Joe, come sit down right here. No, we don't have enough room. Okay, well, then my sweatshirt. And there she goes. I'm sure she's pumped. What? We are home. There's Rhythm. She's so happy to be back here. Pearl's happy. <laughs> Amber's happy to be back. Everybody's happy. But rest assured, the day is not over yet. We all work a food stand shift tonight, the late night one. So we will uh, try to get a few house things done, I think. And then I don't really know what it is that we're going to get done. Eska is so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi. Yes. Hi. Yes. Oh my gosh. Stand. Yeah. Yeah. It's Friday afternoon. It's wet. It's wet, it's rainy, it's cold, it's 60 degrees, but there he goes, working another food stand shift. Alright, love ya. We'll be back later.